Welcome back, everybody. In this video, we'll be going over the basics of my open math as we'll need for our class. So uh, to get started, once you go to myopenmath.com, you should see this for the screen. Um, if you've ever used my open math uh, before, uh, this will be uh, familiar, which is good, but if not, it's okay. This is relatively, uh, relatively easy to use software. So uh, if you did already use it uh, before and want to use your same username and password, you can click on uh, down here below where it says forgot username, forgot password. Uh, most people want to click here and uh, register as new student. Um, when you do that, you'll probably find it helpful to use um, the uh, my open math info dot pdf file that i put on canvas uh, that will walk you through the registration process as well as give you the course id that you're going to need in order to complete the registration process uh, once you've done that though um it, you never have to do it again when you come to this website you'll just sign in here using your uh, username and password okay so once you have done that uh, this is the screen that you'll be looking at um, as with Canvas, with my open math, you can't break anything by clicking on it. So feel free to click around and explore. Um, let me switch it over to the student view. There you go, that simplifies things. So this is what you'll see. Um, along the left side, there's uh, menu choices, uh, messages, if you wanna send a message to me or a classmate, uh, forums, uh, if you want to get or receive help, you can take a look there. Uh, the calendar, although it's right here on the center part of the screen too. And then your grade book, which I'm sure you're going to want to look at, and then how to log out and then how to get help using my open math. Okay, uh, across the top is a repeat of some of that stuff, the course that you're in, which is probably just this one, messages, forms, calendar, and gradebook again. You probably will not have these buttons here at the top. Uh, of course, I'm teaching the class, so I have the instructor student rearrange buttons. All right, down here we have a, a calendar. This kind of uh, is uh, shows at a glance the extent of our whole course, because uh, our class is pretty short. Um, if you scroll down the middle uh, pane, there is a uh, short welcome message and then uh, more interesting stuff down below. Like Canvas, um, my open math has this kind of set of triangle symbols that tell you when there is a uh, menu or content that will open up. Right now it's pointing to the right, so that menu is uh, closed. If you click once on it, that will open it up and you'll see that the triangle now points downward. So sometimes you'll be looking through the class and you can't find something, where did it go? Take a look and see if there's some uh, menu that is uh, not opened up, okay? So when you open up the course information, you'll see the syllabus, which we already had uh, seen on Canvas, but in case you need to see the syllabus, but don't feel like logging back into Canvas, um, it's right here, it's your reference. Uh, also the textbook, uh, a PDF file of the pre-algebra book, you can take a look at that. Our class just covers parts of chapter four, but there's the whole book if you want to refer to it. Okay, and then right here, intro to my open math. This is actually an assignment. It's not the video you're watching right now. Um, this is an assignment, it's our first assignment. And all it does is it, it gives you a little bit of practice at how to navigate my open math and how to type in answers. Okay, you'll notice that the due date on it is uh, January 5th at 11.59. Um, up to and, but not including the final exam, all our assignments will be due at 11.59 p.m. So right there, what you're seeing as this intro to my open math, that's what is showing here on the calendar for the 5th, right here where it says intro, okay? And then uh, that's it under course information for right now. We can close that and leave it alone for the time being. Down below that, fractions basics. That's where everything for our course is going to be. Um, let me click and open it. There's not a whole lot in there uh, at this exact moment. Uh, the textbook, chapter four, again, accessible right here. Uh, that's kind of handy. Um, let's skip over the purple thing here for a moment. There is a practice test. Uh, to help you prepare for the final and then the actual final exam. You can't get into this just yet because it's password protected. I'll send you the password uh, right before the final or take protection off one or the other. Okay, um, right here, uh, fraction concepts. Again, that's a menu that will open. So let's go ahead and open that. 
Our first assignment uh, for this uh, is due on Friday the 7th. I'll take you back to the calendar in a minute and we'll take a look at it. This covers uh, basic ideas and terminology about fractions. Okay, so um, let's go ahead back to the main uh, screen again. That assignment is showing there as being due on the 7th. So uh, keep an eye on this calendar and uh, make sure that you don't miss any assignments. As you'll see, we've got the final exam uh, way ahead on the 25th, but just this week, uh, on the 5th and the 7th, our first two assignments. If you click down here on show all, uh, you'll be able to see everything that's available at any time and uh, it's broken down by due date. Okay, you can also click on it if you want to start the assignment uh, from this screen or work on the assignment from this screen. All right, so right now we have course information and then we have fractions basics. And like I said, there's so far just fraction concepts, but we'll be adding more uh, very soon as the course progresses. So uh, this is where you'll be spending a lot of your time uh, working on assignments is uh, here in this section. Okay. Um, below that, uh, that's where all the required elements of the course are under fractions basics. If you would like a review of whole numbers, that is just counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and so on, um, and all of their properties and stuff that's here under review whole numbers. And uh, there's assignments um, or sections about that here, for example, uh, introduction to whole numbers, there's uh, textbook, there's video, and then an optional assignment. These optional assignments are exactly that. They're optional. They don't count for you or against you. Uh, you can use them for practice or to get a sense of how well you understand things. But like it says, it's optional, so it's optional, okay? Um, if you do want a little bit of review, um, that's here. All right, so that is here under uh, the review of whole numbers. And then uh, there's also a review of positive and negative numbers below that. And it's structured in the same basic way. Uh, menus that open up, textbook section, then videos, and then an optional practice assignment. Okay, if that seems like a lot, don't worry. Those two reviews are optional. They're just if you want the extra support or help. What you do need to get done is here under fraction basics. And uh, for now, we just have one little thing, uh, this assignment one uh, fraction concepts. All right, so uh, I hope that has been um, uh, useful. Uh, for you. Uh, just a quick tour through uh, my open math. Uh, if you have any questions on it, let me know. Where you want to start is uh, you'll want to get your my open math account created and then uh, make sure you watch everything on, or look at everything on the getting started section on Canvas and uh, get started on that uh, intro to my open math assignment. After that, there's a uh, video on Canvas that uh, corresponds to Introduction to Fractions. And after you've watched that and read through the textbook, uh, section uh, 4.1, uh, you'll want to work on this assignment here on fraction concepts. All right, so as I said, let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.